right, hello everybody. Ah, finally out of the office. I've been sick for three weeks and the weather's been really bad. So today is about the only day that it has not rained yet. And there are supposed to be more bad storms coming in tomorrow because all the hot and cold are kind of mixing together and causing some problems. So, sorry, I gotta be careful here. It's really slippery. Heading down to a little waterfall that I've never been to, uh, or I've never been to this part of the falls. And I'm pretty excited. I, I want to give you guys a little tip in just a minute here because there's some dappled light. Uh, and it's probably not going to be a really long vlog today. I don't have a lot of time at all. Um, I'm at the very bottom of this mountain where, these, where this waterfall is. And I want to have time to shoot the falls and make it to the top of the mountain in time for sunset. And sunset's in like an hour and 20 minutes. So I kind of have to hurry. And I feel like when I do these vlogs, I kind of split my creativity between video and photo. And you know, it's, the photography is always going to be more important. Sorry about that. <laughs> but uh, the vlogs are great, but I have to focus on the photography. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to set up this shot real quick. I'll show you what's behind me. Nice little set of falls. Looks kind of diminished because I'm using a wide-angle lens on the video camera, but uh, it's, a, it's a pretty good size little falls, and just got to find a place to set up. All right, so I just got finished picking out my composition. I couldn't really film it because I was pretty much in the water and the tripod legs were in a really weird, precarious situation. Uh, I was just trying not to fall in the water and trying to keep my camera safe, so I didn't film it to be safe. Uh, but I do want to talk about it. So I'm using a, a 24 to 70 Nikkor lens right now. And at the 24 millimeter end, uh, really at the widest end of almost any lens, you're gonna have some distortion if you're uh, tilting the camera down or slightly up at something. It will either tilt it towards you or tilt it away, or it can even make uh, distant things that are level, kind of d distorted and leaning. And so uh, a good tool to use to help stop that from happening, other than going into Photoshop and using the warp tool, um, the, the camera, the D850 and a lot of other cameras now, have this level, this uh, spirit horizon level that's digital on the screen, and at least my D850 and my D810 had this, um, where on the back of the screen, it doesn't only show you what's level going this way, it shows you what is level to your subject or what's level considering to the horizon going this way. So you can actually see there's a level going front and back and side to side. So I tried my best to get my tripod low enough to the rocks so that it wouldn't distort the rocks and distort the background so that that front uh, horizon level on my camera was also in the green and it matched up so that I was shooting it as straight as I possibly could on the same axis instead of just getting it level here and then tilting the camera down and bending and distorting all of my verticals and my rocks and all the things, trees or anything. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I'll, I'll get you a close up on what that looks like, but uh, pay attention to that on your camera next time. Uh, unless you're using something like the Zeiss, like I have the Zeiss Milvis lens, uh, which is kind of a speciality lens for certain things, but that has almost no distortion, but your 24 to 70, your 16 to 35s, all those kind of lenses at the 16 millimeter end, they're gonna have some kind of distortion. And uh, I prefer not to do a bunch of warping back in Photoshop. I like to do the best I can to minimize it um, while I'm here in the field. So anyway, that's just a little quick tip there for you. We're gonna, uh, I guess we have time, uh, maybe a little bit of time to head up the falls a little bit further to see if we can shoot something up there. And then hopefully I can make it in time for sunset uh, sunset's iffy right now. Uh, we had some golden light a minute ago, and now a uh, big cloud cover has come in. So, I don't know, it's gonna storm tomorrow, there's rain coming, so I don't know if that's gonna ruin the sunset, but uh, you know, that's the, the risk and challenges of landscape photography. So, I don't know, uh, <laughs> I guess we'll figure it out. Let's wing it, that's what, that's what most people do. Let's just wing it, all right. All right, so I just got back in the car from shooting those compositions, and the sun is still looking a little iffy. Um, I don't know whether I should call it in right now and uh, be home in time for dinner or wait around and uh, just cross my fingers for a good sunset. I don't know. Um, I, I might try to shoot a little bit more of the falls just in case the sunset is a bust. I'm looking at the sky and there's just a lot of blue, a lot of the clouds. There were a ton of clouds earlier on the way here. Uh, they've Most of them have dissipated, unfortunately. 
and it's just uh, the the sun right now is just a big blob of white behind a cloud and the clouds not even that interesting so even if the sun breaks through I don't know how good it's gonna be um, I don't know I've never I've never been the the place where I'm gonna be shooting sunset is driving all the way to the top of this mountain and then I have to hike uh, about a half a mile down on this little um, I guess little uh, rock that comes out. It's not. It's not even quite a rock. It's really just a a little cut out piece of bush that I remember from a couple of years ago. I hope it's still there. Uh, that you can tell some hikers just kind of took a, a machete or something and cut down just a little kind of peeping hole into the sunset. And I hope it's still there. Uh, the trees are all dead right now. It's winter, so it should be a pretty easy view. Um, but at the same time. Uh, you know, the trees are all dead and there's no green or color or anything. So if, if the sun does not produce some kind of golden light and pinks uh, on all the dead trees, then the dead trees are just going to be dead trees. And the whole shot and composition is going to be pretty much a, a bust because um, it needs light. This composition needs light. And if the light isn't there, it's just an average snapshot photo. So I have to make a decision. Um, we're about half an hour, maybe 40, eh, about 40 minutes uh, until sunset. My decision is I drive to the top of the mountain, make that hike, get to the place I need to be, risk the photograph, or just go shoot some more waterfalls and uh, probably get at least one more good composition. And that's a tough decision because the waterfall route means that I'll probably get a pretty good shot. And the sunset route means that I'm just leaving it all up to the unknown. It's a risky it's a risky little uh, composition there. So I don't know. I guess we'll find out uh, in the next video clip. I guess you'll find out. All right. Talk to you guys in a minute. All right. So I chose the waterfall route. And I don't know if that was the smart choice or not. I might can very quickly drive up to the top of the mountain and try to get a lasting like pink or red hue of the sunset. But the sky is just so blank. I think that this is probably the best option. So I seized the opportunity to do the waterfall and we'll do the sunset another day. What's cool is if you come here uh, during the winter, there's no trees blocking the waterfall. So you can see all the way at the top of the falls right here. I'll get you a video shot of this. I just wrapped up shooting for right now. Sunset just happened about five minutes ago and it's a good thing I chose the waterfall option because it was a pretty dull sunset. It just faded off into gray, light blue clouds, no orange, yellow, pink, red, nothing. It's just gray and blue, ready for those storms to come in tomorrow. So I think I got like maybe one good waterfall shot from today. I took about five compositions. Uh, I've been shooting out here for a few hours and five is a lot for me, honestly, because I have to be picky with waterfall stuff because I shoot them so much. I don't want it to get too too repetitive, especially since I come to the same locations a lot at different times of year, hoping to get you know um, unique shots. So, yeah, um, I think I'm gonna fare well with the uh, waterfall composition that I got. It's kind of a simple one, but uh, I'm happy with simple. So, I guess uh, for now we'll pack up and go home. Maybe process one of the images. Landscape photography always presents a unique set of challenges. Whether it's a storm front rolling in to ruin the perfect sunset, or being forced to decide which scene will give you the best opportunity. In the end, it's most important to remember to cherish and appreciate Mother Nature through your eyes before you look through the lens.